Hello again, YouTube and Facebook friends. Today I had a phone call and the customer was asking why only a 15 to a 16 inch piece of wood? I said, well, it's mainly because the grabber bar, if it can't come up and over just enough, then the wood just kind of skids by the front of it. So lo and behold, on my magnificent log pile behind me, I found a huge piece of red oak. So I'm gonna take some measurements here, show you folks what it is. Uh, the saw I've already cut through, I've got some pictures on that. It's about 20 inches, give or take. So uh, let me walk around this and I'll show you what I have going on. See if I can get the camera to focus here just right. You can see we're scribing somewhere around 20 inches 20 and a half inches on the way over kind of got the saw bar holding me there just so you can make sure I'm not cheating there's the end all the way across 20 and a quarter 20 and a half Even on the back end of the piece of wood here, we still have right about 15 inches. There you go, the whole tape measure, you know I'm not cheating. So even here at the opposite end, it still maxes out the factory spec of 15 to 16 inches. Let's see if I can get some video here and uh, show you guys what this can really do. Now, one thing I do want to mention is like I said earlier, the biggest restraint is here at the grabber arm. If you can't come fully up and over the piece of wood, you can't get enough down pressure to actually hold the log in place while the table slips in and out underneath it. Um, kind of a cheat that I have is with the Bobcat, if I can pick it all the way up and curl the, the processor all the way back, I can get this piece of wood to sit against here. And between this, the oiler guard, and the arm, I can usually get enough pressure on that to hold the piece of wood in place. So if you see me pick the arms all the way up and tip it all the way back, that's what I'm doing. Just for full disclosure, um, this is bigger than factory spec, but I do want to show you that it can do it. Hopefully, we'll see how this video turns out.
last here in the mountains, uh, but this is the completely split up piece of wood that was on the tray. Just for the tape measure here, one piece here is still just over 12 inches. Another one about 10 and a half. Another big piece here, about 13 and a half. So, I mean, this is why, the other reason, I guess, why we say 15 inches and down, because when it comes across that four-way wedge, these are the bigger pieces that you're left with. Now, I do an indoor boiler. Somebody that's doing an outdoor boiler, I should say I do an indoor wood stove. Uh, but an outdoor stove, this would be perfect for. So I did cut these pieces a little bit shorter in length because I'll have to split these all over again. But at least I can pick up the chunks. They're cut them off here about 15 inches in length. About 15 in length. Which is good for my retail sale here because we advertise between yeah, it's 16 and 18 inches is kind of the average. But I would definitely have to chunk these back down again uh, to get them out the door. Here's a bigger piece here that we can split twice. Let's see what this is. So there is 18 inches going across. Still above the suggested standard. Just to let you know. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit a like, check us out on Facebook. Appreciate all your interest and have a good day. Boy, it got dark fast. Just wanted to come down here and throw a little asterisk in, uh, take it with a grain of salt or a dash of sawdust that, uh, yes, it was a 20 inch piece of wood that went across the processor, but we do recommend about 15 and down. Uh, I do have about a thousand cords across this particular unit, so I do know what makes it work and what doesn't work on it. So if you can just take that little disclaimer, like I said, with a dash of sawdust, that uh, we do recommend 15, 16 inches and down uh, as an average for the processor. So average meaning a little less, a little more. So tonight we went with something that was just a little more. So have a good night. Thanks.